Hello all, welcome to Keisha's Gossip and Truths. And in this video, I will be talking about Mac Miller. This video was requested by Truth Seeker. Now you all know I like to give a brief intro before I go in deep. But with this video, I will give you just a stat. That's it. Mm -hmm. Just a stats, people. <laughs> Let's start. Malcolm James McCormick, a.k.a. Mac Miller, was born on January 19, 1992 in Point Breeze, Pittsburgh. He's the son of Jewish and Christian parents. He attended Catholic grade school and later graduated from Taylor Allerdance High School. He taught himself how to play the piano, guitar, drums, and bass. He started rapping at the age of 14 years old, even though he initially wanted to be a singer. By the age of 15 years old, he began a career in hip-hop. Yes, he did. Of course, we know that already. He later signed a record deal with Pittsburgh-based independent label Rostrum Records, with whom he had his breakthrough with the mixtapes KIDS in 2010 and Best Day Ever in 2011. Miller's debut, his studio album, Blue Slide Park, which had became his first independently distributed album to top the U.S. Billboard 200 since 1995. Then in 2013, he founded a record label imprint, Remember, with REM capitalized music. After his second studio album in 2013, called Watching Movies, with the sound off, he later left Washington and signed with major label Warner Brothers Records mm -hmm, in 2014. With them, he released his th third studio album and was nominated for Grammy Award Best Rap Album. He also served as record producer for various artists, including himself, under the name Larry Fishburne. To manage his stress, he began taking promethazine and later became addicted to lean, which is a purple drink and a recreational drug created by combining cough syrup with a soft drink and hard candy. Oh, and he has abundantly expressed that he loves lean. He even expressed this in Complex Magazine in 2013. This is what he said. I love lean. It's great. I was not happy and I was on lean very heavy. I was so blanked up all the time. It was bad. My friends couldn't even look at me the same. I was lost. Miller continued to struggle with drugs up and until his death. Whereas he was found unresponsive in his studio city home by his personal assistant who called 911 and performed CPR until paramedics arrived. Miller was pronounced dead at the scene at 11.51 a.m. He was getting ready for a scheduled shoot on the day of his death. He was also scheduled to go on his swimming tour in October. Meanwhile, he left everything to his mother father and brother. He was buried with a Jewish funeral at Homewood Cemetery in his hometown of Pittsburgh. His autopsy revealed that Miller died from an accidental drug overdose due to mixed drug toxicity, uh, fentanyl, cocaine, and alcohol, which are common drugs that he's known to take. But there's a twist. And with that being said, let's get personal and dark. Let's go. It seems that a man named Cameron James Pettit was charged with allegedly giving Miller counterfeit oxycodone pills containing fentanyl. Two days before his death, according to court documents, it seems that Miller had asked to be given Percocet and prescribed painkiller containing oxycodone. In addition to cocaine and Xanax, then the news break about another man named Ryan Rivas who was taken into custody the other day and charged with fraud and drug and gun possession according to a statement from the lake havasu police department upon them searching Reeves home investigators discovered a prescription pad prescription only pills drug paraphernalia and marijuana they also uncovered a seized pistol and shotguns homemade firearms suppressors and a lot of ammunition police however did not say exactly how Revis is connected to miller and his death but theories are saying that he was there is no official information or rather if these two individuals were hired or you know or not by someone you know it makes you think though how easy it is and how quickly it is to slowly kill someone with lace or false drugs i mean how many recent celebrity victims drug overdose thing that we can clearly say and it makes you wonder how many people 
how many celebrities have died with drug overdoses and they only died because someone laced their prescription drugs with actual drugs or any drug that may have killed them. And when they get the autopsy report, you find that they have been taking all these kinds of drugs when you know in initially that they weren't known to take any of these drugs. Take Michael Jackson, for example. He had prescription drugs on his nightstand as well. What if they were lacing his pills with some drugs that can kill him as well? I mean, when in Houston, I mean, the list goes on and on on how many people who, um, Heath Ledger, I mean, you never know. How many celebrities have died from lace prescription drugs or drugs that could kill them? I mean, it's ridiculous how easy and how undetected and how slowly they can kill someone without, you know, anyone knowing. I mean, it's as simple as that. Anyway, my prayers goes out to the Mac Miller family and who's ever affected by this. This is so tragic. Even though he was on lane with his, his cough syrup and some other stuff, and he took some Percocet and things of that nature. I know I know people who take Percocet. I mean, it's not a, you know, like, okay, I'm going to kill myself. But just saying, it's just a drug that a lot of rich people, upper class people take. Anyway, that's it. Tell me your thoughts below. And don't forget to subscribe to all of my platforms. The list is below. And... Have a wonderful day. Bye. Hey, don't go anywhere. There's more. Oh, and, and, and it's good, especially for you deaf teachers. And y'all always try to do I mean, it is really good. Really good. I mean, you guys are going to love this. My you girl's mind. Excuse me? You are the one taking your dear sweet twine. Hey, don't rush me. I would, I would, then get with it then. I mean, hurry up. What's taking so long? Just do it. I mean, you're taking your little time make, trying to make it all theatrical. Just go ahead and say what you have to say. Stop taking your freaking time. Tell them about this go stuff because we need to have way. this. What? Don't you dare zap me away. Don't you dare. Now that we got that headache out of the way, I can finally tell you about my new blog. Yes, my website. That means you can read all of my scripts in detail, pictures, videos, receipts, plenty receipts. Okay, just in case you may have lost what I said or didn't understand what I was saying, you can read in detail of everything I've said and then analyze for yourself. Oh, yes. Oh, and there's one more thing that I have done. I'm actually starting a videography business. That does not mean that I'm going to your events and recording your events. No, that means I take the photos, video clips, whatever from those events and I create magic. All the details are below. Have a great day. Bye.